Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today we have two learning goals. Our first learning goal is to create a repeating pattern. And our second learning goal is to identify ordinal numbers all the way up through fifth. Well, I thought that my garden would be a perfect place for us to review ordinal numbers and patterns. So come on in. Some of the yummy things that I grow in my garden are strawberries. And I thought that it would be fun for us to pick some strawberries today to use as our pattern. Strawberry plants have beautiful white blossoms and beautiful green leaves. You can even see a giant strawberry there that has not ripened yet. We're going to use these leaves and strawberries to make our pattern. I have collected some strawberries and strawberry leaves to help us create a pattern today. And I want you to create a pattern too. Your pattern doesn't have to be with strawberries and leaves. It can be with anything that you might have in your house. So let's begin with our pattern. And I'm gonna start our pattern with a strawberry. And then I'm gonna put a leaf, strawberry leaf. Now I'm gonna have our pattern repeat. So I have strawberry leaf, strawberry. And then I'm going to put another leaf. Strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf. What comes next? You're right, it is a strawberry. And then I'm going to add another leaf. Oopsies, my strawberry fell. And then I'm going to add, oh, I'm going to have to put a strawberry that is a little flatter. Strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf, strawberry, leaf, strawberry. If I were to continue that pattern, what would I add? You're right, I would add another leaf. And then another strawberry. I could do the same this way and extend it. I have a strawberry, so I need to put a leaf and then another strawberry. I'll put this leaf right there on the end. Our pattern is Strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf, strawberry leaf. This repeating pattern is called an A-B pattern because I have two, an A and a B items. Hmm. Another way that we could look at our A-B leaf pattern is we could see which item is first in line. And I have a berry which is first, and then second is a leaf, third is a berry, fourth is a leaf, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. The leaf is our twelfth item or our last item in our pattern. Which one is first? It's a berry. Which one is third? It's a berry. How about fifth? Berry. Seventh? Berry. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Hmm. What other things could we use to make a repeating pattern? I have some beautiful pansies in my garden. And just right next to it, I have beautiful chamomile. Let's use these for our next pattern. Let's use some of these beautiful flowers to create a repeating A-B pattern. I am going to start with one of the pansies. And then I am going to put a sweet a sweet little chamomile flower. And then I'm going to put a pansy and a chamomile and another pansy. And if I have this pansy here, I need to put a chamomile flower 
in the center. Pansy, chamomile, pansy, chamomile, pansy, chamomile, pansy. I would put a chamomile flower on the end and another pansy if I have room. And if I were to go this way, I would have another chamomile flower and a pansy. This pattern is repeating. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. We call this an AB pattern because there are two items, a pansy and a chamomile flower, in our pattern. Two of them, A and B, and it just repeats. It's fun to create repeating patterns. They can be beautiful and they can be yummy. I would like for you to make a repeating pattern today. Class, I am so glad that you joined me today to practice patterning and ordinal numbers. I hope that you get a chance today to practice with some beautiful things and some yummy things. Creating patterns can be a lot of fun. And you can create some lovely art with your patterns. Enjoy your math today. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.